He was sent here by Queen Victoria to explore temple treasure, okay? Indiana Jones type character. She wanted the Ark of the Covenant in the museum in London. Kapten Kristen asal Inggris, sang penemu situs Kota Daud. Fakta Israel sudah menampilkan tentang perbedaan Kota Daud. A little bit of an orientation as to where we are, where we're standing right now. We're basically on the roof of this building here, okay? 11 acre hill. This is our wheelhouse here. This is the city of David's wheelhouse here. Lokasi Kota Daud, tempat Fakta Israel berada, tepat di sebelah kawasan Masjid Al-Aqsa. Anda bisa melihat tembok kota Yerusalem yang dibangun Sultan Sulaiman dari Ottoman dan tangga menuju gerbang Mukhrabi yang terletak di tembok ratapan. Lantas siapa yang berperan dalam penemuan arkeologi lokasi Kota Daud? In 1867, we had a captain in the British Army called Charles Warren. He was sent here by Queen Victoria to explore temple treasure. Okay, Indiana Jones type character. She wanted the Ark of the Covenant in the museum in London. She sent him here as a dual purpose. One on an archaeological mission, but also second to spy on the Ottomans who built those walls there because they were a weakening empire and the British wanted to see if it was a back door that they could come in and another area that they could conquer. He comes here and he th thinks to himself, looks around and he says, where's the best place to start digging? On the Temple Mount. That's probably my best bet of finding something really cool to bring back to England. He goes up on the Temple Mount, he starts digging. Now, he is a Protestant, Christian, uh, British military officer digging on the Temple Mount. Now, the Ottoman authorities were none too thrilled to see him up there with his crew digging. They're not digging on the Temple Mount. <laughs> They throw him off the Temple Mount. He starts walking down in the valley here. As you can see, there's a deep valley right off the edge here. He starts walking down the valley and he comes up on this water system here. Now, this was a local watering hole here. Not very explored, discovered. People would dip their buckets in and walk away. He went in and he really started plowing through the thing. And he realized that he's in this massive system of caves and shafts and there's antiquities, which is a fancy word for old stuff. Goes through the whole thing and he comes up a little bit over here in a potato field. Because if you would have come here a hundred years ago, This place where we're standing here right now would have looked like this. There was nothing here. This place was lost. Everything you're going to see today has been buried under the ground for 2,000 years. Okay? Once he pops his head up somewhere over here, it dawns on him. He says it can't be that that's the old city of Jerusalem. For one simple fact. He has this theory. He says it can't be that people are going to drag the water all the way from the bottom of the valley all the way up there. It's not practical. The city has to be here, and there's evidence for that here, okay? Mm. He goes to the old city here, and all religions are guilty of it. The Jews, the Muslims, the Christians were all guilty of attributing certain things to certain spots and places in the old city that have emotional attachment but not, might not be 100% historically accurate. So the people up there, rabbis, imams, priests, were none too thrilled to hear his whole theory that, no, really, a lot of it's here, And not everything is there. You know, you guys ever been in uh, the Tower of David in Jaffa Gate? Yeah, yeah. There's one guy that never saw the Tower of David. His name was David. <laughs> okay? So that's just, that's just one example of things in the old city. Okay? <laughs> so, so Charles Warren, he, so he has this whole theory, right? That this is, this is where the, the old city is. He goes back to England. He, and, uh, interestingly enough, when he goes back to England, he becomes the Metropolitan Police Chief of London and starts chasing Jack the Ripper. So he's a kind of interesting uh, historical <laughs> character, right? Yeah. General Sir Charles Warren, lahir tahun 1840, wafat tahun 1927. Sebagai seorang Kristen Protestan yang cinta Alkitab, ia bersemangat menyelidiki tanah kisah-kisah Alkitab terjadi. Saat masih menjadi kapten tentara Inggris yang berkuasa atas tanah Israel, Charles Warren yang berumur 27 tahun memimpin eksplorasi topografi Bukit Bait Suci dalam tim dana eksplorasi Palestina. Selama tiga tahun dari tahun 1867 hingga 1870, eksplorasi menemukan situs Kota Daud. Sistem terowongan air di bawah tanah di Yerusalem dinamakan terowongan Warren sebagai pengingat atas penemuan Charles Warren. Charles Warren menulis buku Underground Jerusalem tahun 1876. 
So, so he finds what he finds. He had limited tools to dig here. Okay. <laughs> now today, thank God, we have MRI imaging, heat seeking imaging, cameras through walls. We can dig. We can probe. We can do things that he could have never dreamed of then. Mm -hmm. But what's interesting about him is he was a great map maker and he was a great amateur archaeologist. And today we use his maps from 1867 here wow. from the clues that he gave us. Then we use now with our modern technology that we have here. So it's nice. it's pretty amazing. Okay. Yeah. Berikut sejumlah peta goresan Charles Warren. Penemuan sistem air kota Daud membuktikan kisah Alkitab ketika Raja Daud menaklukkan kota ini. 2 Samuel 5 ayat 8 tertulis, Daud telah berkata pada waktu itu, Siapa yang hendak memukul kala orang Yebus, haruslah ia masuk melalui saluran air itu. A King David's time, okay? Jerusalem. This right here is the city. We're standing kind of right here in this spot over here. As you can see, this valley right here is this deep dip that you have right here. From a defense perspective, this was a very difficult city to take. That's why the Jebusites taunted King David when he came. They put their lame and they put their blind on the walls and said, even with our lame and our blind defending the city, you're not getting in here. He was mm -hmm. creative. He went through the water system. So it wasn't just the water that was chosen. It was also its defensible position. This summit of this mountain right here is the summit of Mount Moriah. Okay, if we know from our Bible, this is where the binding of Isaac took place, mm. okay? That is where the Golden Dome behind the Al-Aqsa Mosque here is standing today, and it's the site of the first and second temples. Now, King David did not build the temple. It wasn't until his son Solomon that built the temple, okay? Solomon builds the temple and expands the city that way. So the city basically came down like this. As you can see, no old city. There's still no old city here, okay? It's not until the second temple period that the old city starts to take shape the way that we know it mm. more or less uh, today. And now the water is flowing from the aqueduct up that way. So the civilization is moving more and more up this way. Okay? Saudara, meskipun kelihatan sepele hanya soal saluran air belaka, faktanya hal ini mengonfirmasi kebenaran kisah yang tertulis dalam Alkitab. Karena itu penemuan kota Daud yang bersebelahan dengan Bukit Bait Suci menjadi vital bagi Israel dan tentu saja bagi iman umat Yahudi dan Kristen di seluruh dunia. Nantikan episode lanjutan dari Kisah Kota Daud bersama YouTube Fakta Israel. Nah ini ada di bawah dari uh, kota. Terima kasih Anda telah mendukung pelayanan kami. Salam damai dari Fakta Israel.